Hi, Bob Camilli of Blackmagic Design. We're here at IBC 2015, and today we're introduced a new version of the Ursa Mini. Ursa Mini was uh, announced at, uh, at NAB, and this is actually a new version based on some customer feedback that provides uh, a B4 uh, mount. So basically, the Ursa Mini in the PL version can be upgraded for $295 to the B4 mount. So it has uh, a lens port to get the uh, remote iris and focus and lens control. It also powers the lenses. So this way you could use the existing B4 lenses that people have. And then in the future they could use uh, PL lenses as well. So they can do it either cinema and use PL lenses or use the B4 for broadcast. This uh, option, as I say, is $295 and it'll be available in November. Right, so we're here again. This is the, the Terranex Minis. Uh, we introduced Terranex Minis at NAB, and from some of the customer feedback, we received the, the need for three more models. So basically, we have a, a quad SDI to 12 gig SDI. So this takes the four three gig SDIs and turns it into one 12 gig SDI. And then we have the reverse of that, where we have 12 gig SDI to go to four uh, quad uh, SDI and this helps with a lot of 4k and ultra HD equipment that takes four BNC connectors so you can convert from a single 12 gig SDI to four 3g SDIs and in addition to that we announced another version which is the SDI distribution 12g so this is a 12g distribution amplifier so that you can send 12g signals around so that's sending ultra HD at 60p down a single BNC cable so one SDI so another new announcement at IWC is our new Decklink Quad uh, card. This is the Decklink Quad 2. What this is, it, the original Decklink Quad had four SDI ins, four SDI outs. What this has is eight SDIs that can be either in or out. So this way people could make it a seven input, one output device, or a one input, seven output device, or any of the combinations in between. This is designed for the OEM groups where people are using our cards in their products. Uh, we have a full SDK available that allows them to access and change whether this is an input or an output. So it's a really exciting card to, to develop uh, not only for our own end users who can do uh, development on their own, but also for our OEMs. So in addition to some of the hardware that we announced, we also announced uh, the full version of DaVinci 12 Studio is now available. The uh, new uh, beta release for the Fusion software is available, and also there's a new MultiView software update that's available that will be available actually in November, and that adds uh, audio meters and some more dynamic uh, naming uh, infrastructure to the existing uh, MultiView. So anyone that has a MultiViewer will be able to upgrade to this new uh, software and firmware that will allow the, the, um, the VU meters. So uh, those are just some more of the announcements that we've done, not only on the hardware side, but also on the software side here at Blackmagic. And for more information, you can go to blackmagicdesign.com.